don't know if it's possible, but um, I'll keep trying and keep putting my best out each week and see what happens. Um, after a more slower start to the year, I guess well, you, have to, you have to bide your time a little bit. You've come in and, and really hit the ground running. Is it, I know you shaved some time with your, your time trial in the off-season and worked really hard. What sort of difference have you noticed between this year and last? Um, yeah, absolutely. I came into the season knowing I had to work on a couple of things, whether it was my defensive pressure. Um, we talked about that with Bass a lot and um, working on that and being able to run up the ground and get back and use my, my athletic ability to, to enhance my, my game, I guess. Um, so we, we made that a real focus coming into the season and um, to work on that is, was where I needed to be to be playing AFL footy. So, um, yeah, that was a big focus point. Congrats, Mitch. Um, what's, what's clicked for you in the last couple of weeks, mate? Um, like I said, I think I just worked on my defensive pressure and being able to get up the ground and... Um, being involved in between us three, Todd, myself and Charlie, um, working together really well, um, especially in the last couple of weeks and being able to take the load off each other and trust each other knowing that we'll be able to, to work together really well and be able to, I guess, like I said, take the load off each other. You're in the early stages of, of you know, what's hopefully going to be a very long career for you. How, how much confidence does it give you knowing that you, Todd, Charlie had been talking about so early in the stages of you guys coming together as now one of the feared trio of forwards in the AFL. Yeah, it's um it's a scary um scary trio I guess between Charlie his, his ability to take marks contested, um Todd as well being able to be a utility and as we saw on the weekend play in the ruck and be able to match it up there is um such a great asset to have in the team and with us now starting to work and gel together really well and there's still plenty of work to be done but um it's really yeah really exciting. Has it taken any time? Do you think for I mean, you obviously have trained a lot together. Do you feel like it's taken time to click? Yeah, it's taken time. We're all, between Todd and myself, we're very young, and still, and Charlie trying to get that all three to work together is um, it's going to take time to even to develop it further. But um, yeah, it has taken time, and I'm excited to see what's happens next. It's scary to think that you guys can get even better and cause opportunities to benefit even more trouble. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Do you, what is a badge of honour? You bigger guys, I guess, like smaller forward lines are so in vogue at the moment. Whereas seemingly making you know three forwards work do you, do you what i guess what allows you to, to make it work or in, in, a, in a modern kind of forward line um i think the ability for us to all play three different roles whether it's charlie um being up the ground being de in deep in the cage or todd as well playing ruck and myself and todd playing up higher up the ground um it, the utility of the three of us being able to play different spots um really allows us to work together well um with our smalls as well between Robbie, Orazio, Mott, all, all those boys. Um, what's next? Can I go to you? <laughs> oh, try not to focus on that, but um, hopefully. We'll just keep going week by week and um, see what happens. And uh, Big challenge this week again and look forward to playing. How did you find the MCG? Yeah, I loved it. Absolutely amazing. First time playing on there in an AFL game. So, yeah, loved playing on, on the home of footy and... Um, hopefully many more games play. What was, uh, was there any sort of difference? Did you feel a bit more space? Was there something that you noticed about it? Not necessarily. I think the game was really fast and really fast speed and um, up and down a lot. So it did feel really open. Um, that was something I did notice. But um, whether it was different to other grounds, I couldn't really notice a huge amount. Um, also, round eight's showdown is sounding like it's going to have a 100% crowd allowance. So your home showdown, potentially sort of 50 odd thousand people. What will that do for young players like you and, and for the group in general? Well, it's all we've ever heard about. As soon as I came over here to Adelaide, it's the showdown, the showdown. That's the, the biggest part over here. So um, it's such an exciting prospect, I guess, to have in the, um, in the future. So looking forward to them. 50,000 would be it's amazing to have all the fans there. It would be very special. Have you played at a full capacity at Adelaide Oaks? No, I haven't. No. Never. So I'm looking forward to that, to have all the fans there. Yeah. Strange, I guess, that, you know, three years into a club, or well, three years into a... Yeah, very strange. Club, that you haven't had that experience. Yeah, very, very strange, I guess, with the whole circumstances. I mean, my debut was in front of zero people, so um, to, to play in front of 30,000 on the weekend was, um, yeah, ex so exciting. So for it to keep growing is very exciting. What's the difference that you've noticed, given that you've, you know, you've played to an empty house in your first game, and even just the first 30,000, what difference is there sort of like? Oh... Uh, it's not a huge, like having the fans is absolutely amazing. There's nothing better than hearing the roar of the Port Adelaide supporters. And uh, when you kick a goal, it's absolutely just, it drives the whole playing group. Um, so to have that there is uh, definitely massive. We hear a lot about interstate players coming to 
states and clubs outside of their own state and they feel a bit of a new lease on life, they get away from a bit of scrutiny. Do you feel like that since you've left WA? Absolutely. I think it was the best thing for me to get out of Perth for a little bit and experience life elsewhere. And um, Port Adelaide has been an amazing home for me. All the boys, the staff, um, the whole community, it's made me feel really welcome and I've loved every minute of it. It's Port Adelaide man through and through, man. Absolutely. No temptation to ever head back there? No. It's pretty emphatic. I mean, some players leave that very open. No, no, definitely. I've, I've fit in so well between living with Ryan Burton. Um, absolutely love it there and no time off. No idea to go not, or no prospect to go home. That, that is actually, yeah, you never hear that from someone. It's, that's good. Yeah, you just broke the heart. <laughs> Three of the West Coast fans and, and all those like, oh, we'll see what happens. I'm good. Yeah, perfect. Thanks, Thanks perfect.